What is up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Motor Nubs YouTube channel. I'm glad to have you. Uh, we are back with my wife's truck. It is a 2016 Ram 1500 uh, with the Eco Diesel. And just like I did, I don't know, probably years ago, I'm putting a set of Airlift 1000 springs on it, or sorry, Airlift 1000 airbags inside of the factory springs. Uh, it, these are rated to give you a thousand pounds of extra bed capacity. I'm using it to help level out whenever we tow our camper. So um, I did a how-to video years ago, basically this, the same process. We are going to take these airbags, squish them down with zip ties, uh, make them like a taco. I'll show you that here in a second. Uh, jack the back of the truck up by the hitch. That way it raises the suspension and the, the axle drops down to make the spring pull apart and make bigger spaces. Cause then once this is compressed down with zip ties, we'll slide it in there, slide it up, cut those zip ties. So then it expands out. And then you have to put one of these little hockey pucks on the top of it and then run your airlines to the top. And I'll show you all that. So simple, easy, easy. All right, I'm gonna set up the old tripod. All right, so we got the driver's side in. You guys saw me struggle from the outside. Uh, I'm gonna set the time lapse up underneath now so you can see how I kind of get it in there. Basically, I get it squished down as much as I can, zip tie it a whole bunch of places to keep it smushed down. Um, I have the, the, like I said, the truck is jacked up by the hitch so that way the suspension droops down as much as possible, making that coil spring spread out as much as possible so it has bigger gaps in between the springs. And then I start not at the very bottom, but one row up. I put it in and fish it up. And the reason why I don't start at the bottom, that's why I, I can reach my other hand from the bottom and help like guide it up. So hopefully that helps you guys. It seems impossible, but it's definitely not. Um, I was just like, whew, I wrestled it. Uh, it easily took me probably a good 15 minutes to zip tie it and then another, I'd say five to 10 minutes to fish it up in there, but yeah. It ain't fun, that's for sure. So I'm gonna get to doing the next one. All right, so I got it up in there. Valve's going up towards the top. And then where is my little hockey puck at? There it is. This hockey puck, see if you can see up here, there's a gap up top. That slides right over where the nipple comes up for the valve. So um, what I did is ran the line through here and then put the line onto the valve and put the little clamp on there. Just trying to make it as easy as possible. So um, yeah, now that it's in there with all these, you can cut the uh, zip ties and pull them out of there and it will expand and then end up looking something like that. Ta-da! And I'll show you how I run my lines here in a second. So bear with me. All right guys, so I ended up putting my valve right here. There was a convenient hole in my my receiver hitch and there it is. So I air that up. Those airbags get a little bit of pressure in them and it helps level the truck out. So I'm gonna go grab the air compressor and put a little bit of air in them. <laughs> 